Now 5.0 is just around the corner. We've got characters, old and new, coming out. Good ones and questionable ones, and you may be confused as who you want to wish for. At the end of the day, wish for who you want to wish, but if there are multiple characters you want to wish for, maybe you're a new player, I don't know. You might need a little help deciding, a little bit of swaying, and I am here to help you. So in 5.0, we have Mulani, Kazuha, Raiden Shogun, as well as Kinik and his little friend. Another new character is the four, the other four star that's coming out with Notlin. I am absolutely blanking out on her name, but hopefully someone in chat can type her in and then I'll be able to say who it is. But she's a four star. We don't really need to worry about that. We're getting a copy of her for free. So wishing in 5.0 will probably get you some cons for her, especially if you end up going for the first half. Uh, but we're going to focus on the five stars. Yeah, so out of the four choices, who are the best ones? So we don't really have too much information on Mulani or Kani because they, they aren't out yet. If you're not so much a meta person, aren't really technically Spiral Abyss, or don't have any difficulties with those because you already have really top tier units, um, you might want to just go for Mulani or Kinik because they are actually going to be quite helpful in the overworld with the way they are able to move with either surfing or doing Tarzan things in the overworld. So they might be helpful for you getting to places a lot quicker. Yes, Kachina. There we go. Uh, but if you're a new player, you don't have a lot of characters yet, you want to tackle some of the content that is considered a little harder and are trying to make good progression on your account and on that side of things, then I would potentially hold off on Kanik and Mulani uh, because Kazuha and Raiden Shogun are absolute beasts in terms of their strength. Kazuha is one of the best Anemo support characters in the game, doing shredding, giving EM to your team, whereas Raiden Shogun is still part of arguably the strongest team in the game in Raiden National. If you're able to uh, dodge decently well. And even if you're not able to dodge decently well, you can build a, a Raiden as a sub DPS support um, by building her EM to pair up with Dendro. So I would go for Kazuha if you already have a main DPS and you don't have a Kazuha yet because he's absolutely valuable. Almost arguably a must have character in your account at all times. And, and if you don't really have a main DPS or maybe you need a second DPS for when you're attacking Spiral Abyss, I would go for Raiden Shogun. Hands down. One of the best characters in the game. She's also an Archon. But if you're more of a veteran character, then who cares? You're, you're already beating Spiral Abyss 36 starring. Go, go for whoever the heck you want, and that's basically my advice for 5.0. As for weapons, I don't have much information on the weapons of Mulani or Kinik as of yet, but if you're going for one and you have the Primo Gems to spare, maybe you don't really care about the characters coming out in potentially 5.1. You can go for their signature weapons if you so choose, but let's talk about Kazuha's and Raiden's weapon. Raiden's weapon, signature weapon, is very useful on Raiden. I have it. It gives her energy recharge. It gives her attack. It does a lot of good things for her and it looks really great. I don't have Kazuha's signature weapon but it is good on a couple of support characters so it probably ha is a little bit more versatile than Raiden's in my opinion. So if you are wanting a weapon I would maybe lean a little bit more towards Kazuha but of course if you have Raiden or are going for her and you are successful I would I wouldn't uh, pass on getting Raiden's weapon especially if you are trying to decide between constellations or her weapon. Let me know if you uh, agree or disagree with me.